The software system undergoes the multiple changes in its configuration data in the environment. Hence, maintenance testing has to be done to ensure that there is no issue with the systems. Maintenance Each and every system, each and every software product require n number of enhancement during the production, during the configuration management. So all these kind of activities will be tested under the maintenance testing part to ensure that the application or the software product will work correctly under the adverse condition and it will be maintained very well. Here we can take an example of the Indian cars. During the production, the car paint were heated on a very high temperature to keep the Indian conditions in mind. Like we also see that during the season of May, June, if you park the car, under the direct sunlight, there is no damage on the carpet. So this is a very live example that gives the scenario that why the maintenance testing is mandatory, why the maintenance testing is necessary. Here are some scenarios for the maintenance testing. The first one is Software migration, obviously yes. Migration means if you are changing the platforms, if you are changing the version controls. So at that point of time, the maintenance testing is mandatory, is done to check whether if you are switching the platform or version controls, the application will work correctly or not. Retirement of the software of the systems. The retirement word in the software, it's a myth. Software cannot be retired. It can be migrated. It can be upgraded. And it can be changed through the versions, through the builds. So at that point of time, again, we have to test the maintenance testing part. The last is maintenance testing also includes the regression testing obviously yes in the previous lectures we have studied that the regression testing is done to check whether the enhancement done is working fine with the whole application functionality or not the maintenance testing is checking the same thing if you are switching the platform if you are switching the version controls if you are upgrading if you are migrating whether the applications are working fine or not. So these are some important parameters during the modification of the software that require under the maintenance system. Now come to the scope. Risk of change. Obviously yes. If I am changing the software version from version 1.0 to version 1.1 or software version 1.0 to software version 2.0 so there will be the very huge risk of the change maybe chances the maintenance testing at that point of time will be failed but maybe a chances if I am switching from version 1.0 to 1.1 the maintenance testing will be passed so it depends so risk factor will be high size of the existing system size of the current software product it also impact on my maintenance testing like take an example if i want to use microsoft office suite 2007 on the windows 98 it will not run it will crash my my system my laptop due to the size or then vice versa maybe the compatibility issues so size of the existing system is a very important issue to check 
whether it will be compatible for the graded system or graded platforms or not. Size of the change, whatever the new changes have to be made, whatever the new enhancement, new functionalities, new non functionalities have been added, it can be maintained easily or not. So, at the end, impact analysis is a part of maintenance testing. It helps to determine the level of regression testing to be performed. Impact analysis. If I am switching from version 1.0 to version 2.0, either it will actually impact on my graded system or the current system after upgradation will working fine. Like take, an, take a recent example from Apple iPhones. Last few months back, Apple has launched the new iOS operating system that is 7.0. All the Apple users have upgraded their iPhones or iPads to this iOS 7.0 version. But the bad impact was that the system will slow. All the iPhones, iPads will become slow. Audio files become unaudible. There is no sound. And the same for the video files. So this is the impact analysis. If you are upgrading, if you are migrating, whether it can be maintained or not. So that's why we told that it helps to determine the different levels of regression to be performed. Means whatever the enhancement are going to plan whether it can be maintained or not.